All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to remove a stuck or broken lightning port or lightning, uh, I don't know if you call this a jack, um, from the port. So this customer had where the metal part, the tip broke, it broke off here and then it got stuck inside the iPad here. This will apply for iPads, iPhones, whatever that uses this Apple lightning port. So here you can see inside, okay. Um, inside of here, you can't, let me see, it's not focusing right. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to focus right. But inside here, um, there are several pins. Um, so you want to be careful, depending on your device, you want to make sure whichever way you're um, trying to pry this out that you're not going to hit the pins there. So in this case, the pins are um, on this from this side. So they're in there on that side. So you want to be careful not to hit anything with that. We're just going to use a small, thin uh, flathead screwdriver here, um, but you can also use like a needle. I'm rotating this around so the back is this way. Uh, but basically, we're going to have to get into the side, okay? So we've got to get into the side of that piece, and we're basically just going to try and get in there and pry that out. So here we have that, and when you go to pry it, okay, you want to make sure you're not hitting the metal pins that are over, sorry, over on that side. Okay, so we're going to get in here. And we're just going to kind of pry it up and you got to be very careful go slow again be very careful not to hit those pins and it helps to kind of wiggle it to get it behind that metal piece and here you can see it's lifting okay and you got to kind of get in there and then pull that up and there you go we rotated it and that should allow us to pull this metal piece out and here you go let me show you what this looks like so there's the metal piece come on focus there's the metal piece that we got out. And the thing with this, the reason why it gets stuck in there, if you look at it, it has these grooves. Okay, so you can see these little indentations here um, on the sides of it. And that makes the metal thinner in, the, in this portion where those grooves are. So it breaks off. Um, if you look at a completely full working one, so here you can see the grooves there. Okay, you can see the grooves in the sides. So basically it's a weak point right there and the metal breaks off. So once you get that out, you should be okay to use the charge port again. So here you can see, we can plug it in and it fits just fine. Let me actually get a little battery charger to plug this in and show that it's working, all right? So give me a second, I'm gonna get a charger and I'll be back. All right, so we're back. We're gonna now just plug this in and you can see it's charging now, 30% charged. All right, and you can see the little lightning bolt there, I think, hopefully. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple to get out if you got the right tool. Um, if for some reason, uh, this sometimes this plastic part also breaks off into it, uh, you still can take it out the same way, but you have to be extra careful because you won't be able to see where the pins are since the plastic will be covering it. Um, but most of the time, the pins are towards the back, all right? So on that side. Um, so not on the glass side. I don't know if I can even show it in there, but uh, the pins, come on, the pins are in there at the back of the device, okay? And that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to show here. Hopefully the pins are completely okay. Sometimes uh, when the thing breaks like that, because people jam the old broken charger back in, it damages it. So... Yeah, just be careful. I do see some gold flecks down there. So I might have to, let me try brushing it out with a toothbrush. Sometimes you can kind of clean it by getting a little toothbrush and just kind of wiggling it around in there. And then I have this little air blower that I use to kind of blow the dust away. All right. And yeah, that little fleck disappeared. Oh, also, if you're wondering how this mechanism works to hold it, you can see those little things that stick out there on the sides. So those are kind of like round ball bearings like on a spring. So when you plug it in, it pushes that out, and then the spring pushes it back in to lock into that little groove. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll plug it in both ways, upside down and right side up. Make sure it charges both ways. And that should be pretty much it. So we'll plug this in. Okay. And it's charging. We'll unplug it and then we'll plug it in again upside down 
and it's charging. So we should be good to go. That's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped. If you don't have a little flathead screwdriver, again, you can use like a little needle. But again, you want to be very careful that you're prying away from those pins. You don't want to accidentally damage those pins because replacing the charge port on these are a nightmare. It's kind of a huge pain. So if you end up damaging that charge port, you can pretty much probably consider throwing this thing away. Um, yeah, I don't know why they designed it that way where the charge port is super difficult to replace. But uh, again, that's it. Again, hopefully it helped. If it did, make sure to like, comment, share this channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Um, subscribe. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you can watch a few of my other videos um, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. And then like and comment on those as well. But yeah, other than that, hopefully this helped again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.